Now, after we config the Stripe extension, we can go to the Stripe dashboard. And now we are going to add some products. And first, we go to make sure that you are viewing the test data. And inside the products, we already add three plans here. And I'm going to demonstrate to add one more plan. For example, we have plan four, and then plan four is most expensive. And then we choose the price of $20. And then we click save the products. And then we type the password. Now, if you go to the products page, you can see there are four plans here. And the next thing we need to do is go to the settings. And then we turn on the customer portal. We need to turn on the invoice history, the building informations, and allow the customer to update their payment methods, and allow the customer to cancel the subscriptions, and allow the customer to switch to different pricing plans. So it will also turn on this one. And also at here, we need to add the products that we just added in the products page. So we have plan 3 and also plan 4. Now here we need to type the terms page and also the privacy, but we do not have this page. So we just like in the placeholder, we type HTTPS example.com and type terms. And then we copy this and paste to the privacy and change this to privacy. And then after that, we click save. Now, if we go to the Fire Store, we can see the products already created here. And this is just the plan for that we just created. And we can see we already added three plans here, but it do not in sync with the Fire Store. This is because we created before rather than after we set up all the linking. So we in order to make it sync, in sync with the Firebase, we have to use the edit products. And for example, we delete the free and enter the free again and click save. Now you can see there is plan free already in sync. Now we also need to add plan two and then we click save. Now you can see the plan two already exists. And at last we go to plan one and then click save. This process is to trigger the synchronization with the Firebase. So now we can see all the four products here. So actually, if you are doing all these things after we set up the linking with the Firebase, then it should already link to all the products at once, rather than we need to edit one by one. So this is how to add the products to our Stripe and also the Firebase.